Just a few days ago, this was confirmed to exist. 117 light years away, in the constellation of Cetus the Whale, there currently exists one of the hottest, most extreme rocky planets known. Dubbed TOI 2431b, it races around its small orange dwarf star, HIP 11707, which is about two thirds the size of the Sun, on an orbit that lasts a mere 5 hours and 22 minutes. This is how long an entire year is on this alien world. The shortest year of any planet with a well-known mass and size. TOI 2431b, first detected in late 2023, is a super-Earth. It measures 54% larger than the Earth, and its mass is approximately 6 times larger. Its density is around 9.4 grams per cubic centimeter, suggesting a rocky composition. As it is only about 25% further away from its star's surface, than the moon is from the Earth, TOI 2431b is predicted to have a surface temperature of above 2000 Kelvin, hotter than some stars, likely giving it a planet-wide ocean of lava. TOI 2431b, like all so-called ultra-short period planets, did not once form at where it is now. It likely started out as a gas giant, further out in the system, before migrating inwards, at one point, it became at the mercy of its host star, whose stellar wind began violently stripping away the planet's outer gaseous envelopes over many millions of years, whittling the planet down to its bare, exposed core, which we see today as a super-Earth. These kinds of exoplanets are known as Chthonian planets, after Chthon in Greek, meaning Earth. This planet's fate is just as grim as its history. Due to the tidal forces between the star and its planet, TOI 2431b's orbit is expected to slowly decay over time, causing the planet to fall into its star even further. This torturous existence will haunt this world for another 31 million years, until it hugs its star so tightly that it will find itself within the star's so-called Roche lobe, where it will simply be torn apart by the star's tidal forces, finally relieving it of this horror. On a lighter note, while this planet is still with us, it will be one of the best ultra-short period planets for atmospheric characterization with JWST. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more space content.